I should film the whole video like this, like all the retards on YouTube, but I won't torture you. It's just funny that people can't understand how to use their camera phone or camera on your phone that's been on it for 15 years now. Here's my mini junkyard. I pulled the bikes out because I'm doing a complete refab of the garage. That's a long story. I'm not going to ever show anyone my garage. Maybe sometime in the future, but there's a lot going on in there. Look at this thing. This is one of the hardest bikes. It pretty much is the hardest bike. And I'm telling you, if I told you how much money I spent on this because everyone lies, I'm not lying. The whole build cost me less than $200. I bought these tires used. I think I paid 20 or 25 bucks and the guy lived five minutes away from my house. So it's not like I traveled forever. I bought this for $3 from the dirt bike shop because I wanted this kind of fuel filter. It's got a little screen in it. The paper ones are all right, but I just like the way this one looks too. That was the only thing I added. This seat came on the bike. I bought the bike from like a bum. I'm pretty sure he was having a garage sale and it had taller bars on it, like the Schwinn bars. And I think I bought it, I did, I bought it for $45. And the seat post was messed up. He had like screws drilled into it because he was a tweaker. And I redid that and this is just a galvanized piece of metal that was polished by my brother and I used this clamp that cost $5. This answer racing neck, which looks sick, was on the bike already. And then I painted it black for $4 for spray paint for Rust-Oleum. Those pedals were already on the bike. $45 bike. The motor was delivered to my house for $93 and a little bit of change because I wanted a decent black motor. Came with these grips. I painted the bars with paint I already had. But even if I included that, I'm under $200. And I like these sprockets. I've had them all. The the clamshell one only sucks when the installer sucks if you know how to do this i've never had one break spokes it's always dead center i've never had one slip you know the amateur hour most people building bikes are part of the amateur hour and look how small my drive train it drive chain is it's almost the same size as this big ass old swim chain but if you look the gear is the exact size Sprockets, they're the exact size. I measured it with the micrometer. They're the exact size as the old Schwinn. So there you go, and it's really clean. One of the best looking ones, period. Just in the junk pile. Look at this. Stable of bikes, the other motorized bike. This thing has all kinds of shit happening right now. And the intake doesn't leak. Look at that masterpiece. I'll go into detail another time. Read it that, doesn't leak. Big bike.